day, and July 8th, we have a beautiful thought for today because of the mercy and love of God, where with David we say, Lord, remember me, not my sin. From Psalm 25, verse 7, Remember not the sins of my youth or my transgressions according to your steadfast love. Remember me for the sake of your goodness, O Lord. And Isaiah 43, Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. What a beautiful thing to know that the Lord, through Christ Jesus, never forgets us, but he does forget our sins. For when he removes our sins as far as the east is from the west, he truly forgives them forgets them, and removes them so we can go forward in our life with the holiness and righteousness of Christ. So today, he remembers you, but he does not remember your sins. As you confess, come in true repentance, and ask for forgiveness, he truly does forgive your sin, and remember them no, remembers them no more. Let us pray. O oh God and King, as once your people received you in joy, open our hearts to rejoice in your coming so that we may meet you in your word and sacrament for the forgiveness of our sins and the strengthening of our faith. Help us to bless and extol your name before the nations. Declare your salvation to the generations to come, proclaiming that you are merciful and gracious and abounding in steadfast love. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O merciful God and Lord, you are good to all your creation. Continue to bless your church and provide for faithful pastors who will preach and teach your word and church workers who will serve us in your name. Make bold our witness before the nations and help us to act in love toward our neighbors. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O creator and Lord, from you all things come and to you are all things directed. Provide for our nation faithful leaders who will hear and heed your law, protect and defend the citizens, preserve the precious gift of liberty, and inspire us to use our freedom honorably. Make us mindful of the heritage of our forefathers which you've given to this land, and guide us to be faithful in our stewardship of all the resources you provided. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. All these things, blessed Lord, we pray pray you to grant us according to your merciful goodness for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.